I'm going to be talking about the history of the periodic table. How many scientists throughout the passage of time came together to come up with the table that we know today. The history of the periodic table starts with a man named Aristotle. Aristotle was a scientist philosopher who lived many years ago. He believed that there were four main elements or groups, earth, wind, fire, and water, which when combined created all the things that we see in the world around us. This was based on his limited knowledge of science and his lack of understanding of atoms and elements and smaller molecules than what the eye could see. His theories would later, many years later, be debunked when the discovery of elements occurred. A scientist by the name of Brand was boiling urine when all of a sudden there was combustion from phosphorus gas that has been, had been released into the air. Another scientist by the name of Boyle, also around the same period as Brand, found the same discovery and the element of phosphorus was found. Over the passage of the next 200 years or so, there were many more elements discovered. With the discovery of these new elements, a new way of classifying and organizing these elements was in order. Two scientists who spearheaded this attempt at separate times were Doberiner and Newland. Doberiner was a German scientist and he came up with the idea of triads. He took elements by their atomic mass and found that if you take one element, add it to a heavier element, and divided it by two, it came out to be the atomic mass of a third element in between them. Using this logic, Doberiner ordered a few of the elements into triads into a table. These triads were finicky and didn't work very well with all of the elements discovered. So Newland came along and decided to just order all the atomic masses or all the elements by their atomic mass into one table. When doing this, he discovered that every eighth element had similar properties to the elements above it. This he called the octave rule, following the octave on a piano or in music. The only problem being that Newland's octave rule was only able to go as far as the element calcium before there was trouble and problems in his thinking. After Newland, a scientist by the name of Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian scientist, had some major breakthroughs in the order and organization of the elements. Mendeleev came up with a law, which we now call Mendeleev's Law, which discussed that elements with similar atomic mass had phys similar physical and chemical properties. Using the octet rule, and after many, many hours of deliberate thinking, and using what he called his elemental flashcards, Mendeleev was able to order, organize the table you see below. He had seven periods in his table, making up the rows, and eight groups, making up the columns. There were a few problems with Mendeleev's ideas. He did not know what to do with hydrogen, because it 
acted similar to other elements, but didn't fit in other parts. He also had some elements which were out of position, ordered backwards, and some elements which did not match the properties of others in their group. But the genius behind Mendeleev's periodic table was that he left room for growth. Mendeleev saw that there were spaces and holes in his table and in his thinking, elements which hadn't been discovered yet. He even made predictions for these elements, which would later be proved to be true. Mendeleev was one of the greatest contributors to the modern periodic table that we have today. After Mendeleev created his periodic table, Scientists like Curie and Ramsey came along and added elements to the periodic table. Curie worked on radioactive elements such as uranium and added a few elements that were radioactive. Ramsey came along and added the noble gases to Mendeleev's table. Following Curie and Ramsey, Scientists like Mosley and Seaborg further altered the table. Mosley, with the discovery of the electron, noticed that it was atomic number, not atomic mass, that played a larger role in the fundamental similarities of the elements. And so he ordered the elements by their fundamental, uh, or by their atomic number, not their atomic mass. Seaborg gave us the elements which are normally placed underneath the table. Lanthanid, lanathins, and actinids. These are considered to be part of the transition metals, but because of space, they are placed underneath the table. James Chadwick was one of the next scientists to order and change the periodic table. Chadwick discovered isotopes with his research on neutrons and was able to further make the table more accurate in its atomic numbers. All of these scientists worked together to give us the periodic table which we know today.